Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. We have had very nice weather today in Helena on the Opportunity Bank ICANN. We had mostly to mainly sunny skies this morning. Now we've had partly cloudy skies throughout the afternoon. And there have been some scattered showers and thunderstorms around the Helena area as well over the past few hours, especially in locations south and east of downtown. Now as we take a look at satellite and radar, notice northern Montana is mainly dry, but southern Montana is where we have those scattered showers and thunderstorms right now. And that's because there is a disturbance that is clipping the southern half of the state. And as we head into tomorrow and Thursday, Thursday, there are going to be a couple more disturbances working the way through our area. And those disturbances are all thanks to this upper level trough that is going to be deepening in the Gulf of Alaska over the next few days. This upper level trough is going to be providing us with southerly to southwesterly flow aloft. And those disturbances are going to be traveling along that flow and impacting Montana over the next few days. As we head into Friday, a stronger disturbance is going to be impacting Montana. So Friday is likely going to be a cool and wet day across much of the state, especially east of the Continental Divide. And that's because that upper level trough is going to be really strong on Friday. But as we head into this weekend, that's when that upper level trough is is going to start to weaken a little bit and high pressure will start to develop just to the east of Montana. So still some scattered showers and storms this weekend, but it should be a little bit drier this weekend than it will be on Friday. The temperatures are also going to be warming back up. Now, as we go through tonight, we are going to have partly cloudy skies and there will be some scattered showers and storms this evening and early tonight within central and southern Montana. North central Montana is going to remain dry. That precipitation should mainly be done with by midnight. And then for tomorrow, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. We are going to be mainly dry during the morning, but as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, showers and thunderstorms are likely around the Helena area. Those showers and thunderstorms will then work their way into north central Montana as we go through tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. A lot of that precipitation will taper off as we go through tomorrow night. And then as we head into Thursday, we do it all over again. It should be a little bit drier on Thursday than it will be tomorrow, but Thursday afternoon and evening, there are going to be scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially within central and western Montana during the afternoon. Then we could see some stronger thunderstorms develop during the evening hours in eastern Montana. Low temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 40s and low to mid 50s tonight, so another cool night, but still these temperatures are above average for this time of year. And then for tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 60s and low to mid 70s. So it will be a little bit cooler than it was today because we are going to have more clock of around and it will be wetter tomorrow than it was today as well. Heading into Thursday, basically a repeat of tomorrow's weather. And then on Friday, it's going to be a cool day. High temperatures only in the 60s. It's also going to be a wet day. Showers throughout the day and a few thunderstorms are possible as well. And it will be a bit breezy as well. So just not the nicest weather on Friday. This weekend, it will be a little bit drier, but some scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible on both Saturday and Sunday. And those temperatures are going to be warming back up as well. In Great Falls, scattered showers and storms are possible tomorrow and Thursday with showers likely on Friday and it will be a lot cooler on Friday with highs in the 60s.